Your morning face. But Benny's in the back snoozing. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's about 1020 in <coughs> Alabama. <clears throat> Clear my throat. Hey, William, good morning. Good morning, brother. Me and my long time friend, Jason Roach, are going to Africa next week. Hey, Deb Clink. We have a, uh, we have an orphanage that we're partnered with over there that just kind of happened And I'm gonna talk about how I believe all this is happening. But I really wanna talk about, good morning, Tender Heart. Sandra, good morning. Good morning, Sandra Luis. I wanna talk about manifesting our heart's desires. I wanna talk, I wanna give a real simple tool that I use that, that I was taught actually and didn't realize what was going on. But looking back, you know, you we can look back and connect the dots. <laughs> and I see how Everything has been unfolding. Spirit is unfolding from within through um, staying my mind on him who is true. Paul said, I, Paul said, I shall fully know him as I have always been fully known by him. <clears throat> so my, my, my mind and, and, and my desire is to fully know him. What if your heart's desire is only to fully know him or only to fully know as I have always been fully known by him? So how have I always been fully known by him? You know, that's uh, the, is that 1 Corinthians 13 and 12 or 2 Corinthians? Yeah, I think it's 1 Corinthians. That's the love. But Paul said, I shall fully know him as I have always been fully known by him. So how have I always been fully known by him? Holy Spirit said, as fully him. <clears throat> so when I see this, when I see certain Sonny, what's up, brother? When I see certain um, scriptures that, ju that I just relate to, they're highlighted to me. They, they, I can't stop thinking about them repetitively just constantly thinking about them and because they go so deep <clears throat> certain things i and my father are one together i and father are together as one i and father are one now this is an eternal truth hey noel good morning this is an eternal truth. Gabrielle, good morning. I and Father are one. You'll never leave me nor forsake me. We have always been one together. How can that be? How can that be? God chose me before in Christ, holy and blameless, holy righteous, blameless, before the foundations of the world. How can that be? And if I've always been one together with my Father, if that is an eternal truth, which I, which I believe it is, then that means, hey, good morning, Tracy. Ryan, good morning, brother. Well, that, that means if I've always been one, that means we co-created. What Holy Spirit told me is true. Holy Spirit said, Alec, do you know why you're a co-creator? I, I said, no. Why? <laughs> and Holy Spirit says, my Holy Spirit says, because we co-created together. Every idea in the divine mind, in the, in the consciousness of God was thought of in harmony together. And through my imagination, through repetition, continuously stay in my mind on him who is true, who is right here within me, as me. Continuously stay in my mind on these truths 
I am discovering through my imagination the very things, the very divine ideas that we co-created together and that have always been. There's a key. <clears throat> a long time ago, a man asked me, see, I, I always had, I, every, every person walking this earth, I know it to be true, has a, has a desire to know the truth. Because the truth is within us. Every person has a desire to know him. Christ is the desire of all nations. Christ. This hope, this substance, this spirit, this kingdom, this God, one true God of love, life, light. Every person walking the planet has the desire to know. They may say, I, you know, what's the meaning? I, why am I here? What's my purpose? There's got to be more. There's got to be something else. That desire within them is the eternal seed, is the Christ, is him who is true. That very desire right there puts off a sound and a vibration out of our heart <clears throat> and what happens when that when we start plugging in we become aware of that desire that vibration goes out that desire is actually dropped into our heart and it vibrates <clears throat> every cell of our being vibrates and we put off a sound and when that happens the very truth that we're desiring may come to us and be revealed to us by others that carry the truth, that have the very revelation or have the very awareness of what I'm seeking out. That's actually always been there and always been within me. <clears throat> so I met a man, and this is a real simple tool that has gone so far from me, but I met a man, and the title of this was uh, Capturing, was Discovering and Capturing divine ideas because it's these very divine ideas when we receive them in the posture of receiving when we receive them when we nurture them when we cherish them when we water the seed when we receive the seed these divine ideas that drop down from the heavens within us remember Jacob saw a ladder that stretched from the earth to the heavens Jacob fell asleep Jacob went within and saw the ladder stretching from the earth, our earth, our consciousness, our awareness, really our entire being, to the heavens, all within us now. This was all within Jacob. He ascended and he saw how heavenly ideas descend from spirit to form and ascend again. <clears throat> See, these ideas are, con are, are conceived in the divine mind and they come forth as expression or an outpressing. These ideas that we conceive in our heart, the seed is planted, that we contemplate on, that we meditate on through repetition, that we think about on constantly, put out press, put off a feeling or an energy in motion, a vibration and a sound that actually shifts the vibrational pattern of our current reality. See, our current reality is being held together by a vibrational pattern. See, there's a substance or a code written into our visible reality right now. There's a code behind the visible reality that we are experiencing and that we may be, feel like we're stuck in. But you can hack the system. You can rewrite the code. And the keys that I'm about to give you here are how the code is rewritten, how our reality actually unfolds from within, how the vibrational pattern that is holding our current reality together changes, manifesting a new reality. And when that new reality starts to manifest, when that vibrational pattern changes, your current reality, the current frequency that we're on crumbles around us and it, and it feels unstable. It shakes. This is where some people give up. 
when it doesn't look like I think it's supposed to look, it doesn't look like my hope. It doesn't look like the reality that I'm seeing within. The idea that I captured from the heavens. That dropped down from the heavens within now. I ascend, King David said, if I ascend into heaven, into the heavenlies. Where was King David ascending? Or if I choose to make my bed in the hell of living as a mere mortal, living without, by my own mental and physical ability, Or if I choose to live by spirit within, drawing from within, ascending Mount Zion, because you have come to Mount Zion, you have come to the heavenly Jerusalem, you have come to the city of God in which you are, you have come to this place where you're surrounded by innumerable angels, messengers with messages. How do we capture the messages? How do we ascend into the heavens, into the heavenly thoughts and ideas, into the mind of Christ, into the consciousness of God. Within now, I'm, I'm about to give you a real simple key, something I learned a long time ago. I met a man and he asked me if I heard God. And now remember, I was living, I, I was living a real rough life. <laughs> Sex, drugs, rock and roll, whatever you want to say, violence, uh, all that. And uh, But down deep inside, I knew there was more. See, the sound, I put off a, a vibration, a sound that started to change the vibrational pattern that was holding me in the, <clears throat> um, in the habit that I was in, in the current reality I was in. Down deep within, I was asking questions. There's got to be more. There's more purpose to life. See, Christ is the desire of all nations. Christ is was my desire. I didn't even know the desire, but it was encoded and imprinted into me. And I started to realize that there had to be more. The life I was living couldn't be it. And I put off a sound, and what came back to me was a man with a question. That he carried a key now to unlock the memory of who I am. The man asked me a question. He said, do you hear God's voice? Do you hear God? I'd forgotten now as a kid, hearing God so clearly, hearing Holy Spirit so clearly. Now I remember, but then I could not remember. I had forgotten. I was hypnotized. There was a great delusion that had been placed over my mind. I was blind in darkness. I was not aware of the truth of who I am. I thought I was merely a man. Mortal. I did not know the truth that I am immortal. Supernatural. A God being. A child of the light source. Of, out of the very side of God. Emerged out of God. As the very spirit of God visible, expressed, outpressing spirit. A unique individual expression of God. God expressed uniquely in an individual, as an individual, me. A face on the side of the diamond of God. Beautiful face. Whew. I felt God on that. <laughs> Woo. Anyway, <clears throat> He asked me if I heard God, and I said, no. I, I, you know, the, where that courage came from, I can't even tell you. Because I, I, at the time, I wouldn't admit I didn't know how to do anything. I didn't know. But I said, I don't, I, I don't hear God. I'm interested. How do you hear God? And he said, this is what I do. He said, I get up early. He said, even if it's just 10 minutes early, even if it's just 15 minutes early, get up a little bit early. When everything is quiet, when the world around you is quiet, get up early. He said, if it's just five, 10 minutes, get up, spend that five, 10 minutes. And I, and I was like, okay. And then he said, then I pray. I didn't know how to pray. I'd learned some stuff through AA, but I didn't really know how to pray. And he said, I just asked God to give me the understanding. That's it. 
Give me the understanding. And then he said, I read the Bible. He said, I read a chapter out of the Old Testament, a chapter out of the New Testament, and a chapter out of Proverbs. And right there where he said that, a wall went up for me. Because I had been very offended at the church. In the Bible, because I had tried to read the Bible before and I couldn't understand a lick of it. <laughs> I got about a half page down, I was like, Pfft. It was boring to me. Church was boring to me. I didn't like it. I didn't think anybody in the church actually represented and, and was was uh, being who they were saying they were, were because I saw, you know, the two. I saw all that. And, uh, and when he said that, I said, man, I, he went on. And, and he said, and this is what I do. He said, I journal. And he said, when something pops off the page at me, or when I relate to something, or when I have a question about a scripture, he said, I write it down. And he said, all throughout the day, I contemplate on that. I meditate. I focus on that. I stay my mind on that. I set my thing, my mind on things above. Those who stay their mind on God, him who is true, he keeps in perfect peace. And this is a way. And he says, and then all of a sudden the answer will come to me. God, I'll, I'll think it's revealed to me what God was saying to me in that scripture. And I'll write that down. And he said, a week goes on. I do this every day and a week goes on and I meet with another man and we talk about what God is saying to us. And then as we talk, <clears throat> we help each other see the common thread between every scripture. And he said, God is even speaking to me in that common thread. And I said, man, that's interesting but I'm not interested I don't want to read that Bible I don't have time and I don't understand it I can't understand it <clears throat> and he said man he said here can you just do this can you wake up a little bit early and can you just say three simple prayers for me and this is man this is where it all started he said can you just ask God to give you the time and can you just ask God to give you the understanding? No. Can you just ask God to give you the desire? Desire. <laughs> he gives us our heart's desires. Can you just ask God, <laughs> because they're his desires, to give you the understanding? And can you just ask God to give you the time? And I said, man, that's easy. I can do that. Well, I did that. And, and a few weeks into that prayer... I ended up hurting myself working out because I didn't tell anybody this, but I was doing steroids. I was playing rugby. I was partying my butt off. Um, I mean, you name it, blowing money, sex with women. I mean, you name it, I was doing it. And I just, and, and I, you know, I wouldn't let anybody help me working out. I was lifting just tons of weight by myself. And one of the dumbbells got away from me and I tore my shoulder. And I was really trying not to do any of that, any any of the partying and all that stuff. I tore my shoulder and, and I had to have surgery. And out of nowhere, I was laid up in my house for like a month. I couldn't work or anything. And this girl that was living with me had bought a Bible for me. And it just sat on the, on the table and I dusted it off so people thought I read it. <laughs> but out of nowhere, I started wanting to read this thing. And it's not, the cool part about it is the scriptures started to jump off the page. I started to hear God in the way that this man was talking about. And, the, and I started to wake up five, then 10, and 15 minutes early. And before I knew it, some mornings I was spending three hours a morning, some days all day long, I wouldn't leave my house. And through this, ideas, I was ascending. As I fixed my mind and focused my mind on knowing God, on digging in, finding out, finding out about God, finding about, you know, just hearing God. That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to hear. It was so cool to me. 
And, I, and then and, and through contemplating on these scriptures and things and just writing them and contemplating and focusing on them, more ideas would come, more thoughts would come, more ideas would come. And as I would contemplate, I as I would nurture the seed in my heart, water the seed through focus, through comp contemplation, through repetition, I would reread them and reread them and reread them until, I, until they were just in me. I, I can't even tell you why I was doing it at the time. I was just compelled. Now I see what was happening. <clears throat> and as I would do this, it would get deep down in my heart until it was just who I was. Until I could just say things and it was just, it was just coming out of me. But now I see what was happening. Divine ideas. When we ascend in, in these ways, I was meditating early in the morning when it was silent and quiet. I was going within. And as I would read things on the page of the Bible, now many books, as I would read on the pages, it would resonate with the truth in me. I would remember him who is true. The true who is truly you. And as, and as these things would go on, as I would capture these divine ideas, as I would contemplate on these truths, sometimes I would drift off in daydreams, trances. Sometimes I would have visions. I would see things. And when I would drift off in these daydreams, in these trances, I would have conversations with the Lord. And I would ask Him questions with my Father. And my Holy Spirit would have the answers. And I would come back with things that I'd never heard before, I'd never read before, that now I'm seeing other people <laughs> have had and, and I'm reading things and it's just confirming things. But I would capture these and I would just go over them and I would read them and I would, and I would explain them to people and I'd write them different ways. And, 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 and as, as it was just forming deep down in the soil of my own heart and as this would happen my heart would vibrate and a sound would come out that changed the very vibrational pattern around me altering or shifting my current reality into a new reality the Son of God came to give us understanding the Anoya to shift us from one side of the matter to the other. From the left to the right, to the two or one within. From glory out of, away from the glory as a mere mortal man, into the glory in Christ as immortal, supernatural, God, child, children of the light, source, one with as spirit. So as I even speak now, you may drift off. Your thoughts, revelation, things may in light up within your mind. Capture them. Contemplate. Think about them. Stay your mind on these thoughts. Set your mind on things above. And the answers will come and more will come as you release. More comes. Release. More questions. Contemplate. Meditate. Think about. Focus. And what's happening is these, uh, these divine ideas that you are receiving and conceiving in your divine mind, which is your heart, your innermost being, vibrates and you put off a sound into the substance of things hoped for, into the coding behind your visible reality. And when you put off this sound, it changes the vibrational pattern that's actually holding your current reality together. And as that vibrational pattern changes to the new sound coming out of your heart, your current reality shifts into a new reality. And as you contemplate, as you stay your mind on him who is true, as you seek to know, seek the kingdom, as you seek the truth, divine ideas are coming forth. They're coming out of the heavens within you. They're dropping down. 
from spirit. And as you, ex as you contemplate, meditate, and express, and put that sound off, they form. They unfold from within. And all you're doing is staying your mind on him who is true. So God's consciousness, the Logos word, the mind of God, the thought and idea of God in which we enter into the kingdom, God's thoughts and ideas released a sound a spoken word, a rhema word into the invisible substance of faith, spirit. And it created a vibrational pattern that formed the visible world that we see. So by faith, we know that the word formed the worlds. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen. Our thoughts and ideas release sound into this invisible substance of faith, creating a vibrational pattern that forms our visible reality. As we capture heavenly ideas, they are planted into our heart. We receive them. That was a divine idea. That was from God. I receive it. I focus on it. I think about it. I contemplate it. I put pen to paper. I start moving in that direction. The vibration changes. The sound is put off and it changes the vibrational pattern. Like I said, the substance, the kingdom starts lining things up. This is what Bob Proctor said. Listen to this. <clears throat> the moment we decide to commit to and believe in an idea, we fuse with that idea. Wake up early when it's quiet. Meditate. Sit still and listen. Read something inspirational. Read the Bible. Read some truths. When things are highlighted, when questions go off, they hap it happens all day long for me. All day long. Revelation, questions, contemplation, focus all day long. God said, let, Holy Spirit said, let your thoughts be my thought and your ways will be my way. Let your thoughts be my thought, Christ, and your ways will be my way, Christ. And you'll be, and you'll be led forth in my peace and you'll go forth in fullness of joy and the mountains and the hills will break forth in song before you and the trees will clap their hands. You'll put off a sound, the sound of heaven, which is love, that all of creation responds to. And everything's working together for your good. Everything is being aligned. And as we make a commitment to believe in an idea, we fuse with that idea. This union results in the activa activation and the projection of the ideas, plots, plans, conditions, and circumstances. Everything starts to line up. Now, we don't control how it lines up in divine order, in divine time. Everything starts to line up. And when we get to that place, that this idea, when we get to that place, we look back and we see how all the dots were connected. This process I'm seeing of manifestation. And, you, and now your new state of consciousness becomes your home from which you view the world. Your perception changes. So these heavenly ideas and thoughts, journaling's a great way. As suggestions come of separation, lack, financial struggles, things like this, slow down, don't receive them, let go and trust God that there is a divine law within me of life, the law of God the law of nature. In the same way that trees produce leaves every year, the same way that the orange tree produces its fruit, is the same way that my life and all these things are added to me. By my recognition and my awareness of the law of life within me, all these things are added to me. Everything that's needed. What's needed for today is provided. 
And as suggestions come, I don't have enough. I need to figure this out. How am I going to get there? But no, I turn right back in and I see the idea that was given to me, the vision. I and my father are one. All that my father has is mine. The very ground that I stand on right now is holy. I am holy and righteous. I put off the sound. I put off the vibration of God. And the kingdom of God comes to me. Everything is added unto me. Every time. Until it's so in me that I take no thought at all. Just as I take no thought at how the leaves are being produced on the tree. I take no thought about finance. I, I take no thought about how I'm getting there. I take no thought. I just know that I know that I know that I've let go and God is handling everything. That's the battle is letting go and trusting. But God is wooing us with gentle cords of love. One scripture I want to share and I'll get off of here. Proverbs 4.23, my wife, Holly Martin, shared this with me this morning and it just rung so true. Because out of your heart, our hearts are the, is the instrument putting off the sound that's actually creating and forming the reality around us. So we have no one to blame about our current reality. We have to take responsibility. So God gave us dominion here. But how's the kingdom work? I haven't been operating how the kingdom works. I've been operating how man works. Man shall not live by bread alone. Take no thought about what you're going to eat, how you're going to get it, the money you need, the food, you, clothes you're going to wear, your body. Man shall live by the preceding word, the ideas that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord within us. Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Not by your physical and mental ability, but by turning within and drawing from Holy Spirit, says the Lord. So Proverbs 4.23 out of the Passion Translation, check this. So above all, above all, guard the affections of your heart. For they affect all that you are. Whoa. It's your heart. It's your awareness. It's your consciousness. Pay attention to the welfare of your innermost being. Nurture the seed. Contemplate. Focus. Repeatedly think about it. I've been in John 1 for three or four years now. I can't. I just keep going back in there and rereading and rereading and rereading. I can't finish a book because I get stuck on one page and I reread it and I reread it and I reread it. And re it until it just becomes me. This is how it works. The sound is being put off and effortlessly in rest by meditation through imagination. We are discovering all the ideas that we created before. And we rest it through meditation, turning within. <clears throat> so, guard the affections of your heart for they affect all that you are. Pay attention to the welfare of your innermost being for from there flows the wellspring of life. The kingdom operates off of vibration and sound. I speak to the clouds out of my heart. I no longer command weather. I no longer demand from the weather. I speak to the weather and to the clouds in relationship, in intimacy, because I'm actually, the clouds are in me and I am in the clouds. Would I speak to a friend harshly? No, I speak to the trees by the sound. I simply ask the clouds to move apart. Will you let me? And they move. By sound and vibration, the kingdom, the coding behind the visible realm we're looking at, the all things visible didn't come from what's seen or visible. The spirit, the kingdom, the Christ operates off of our heart sound, our awareness that we project. Vibration and sound. You can say words all you want, but it's the actual thought and idea that the word embodies that's actually bringing the result or that's actually moving things. I can say I'm happy all day long, but in my heart, I'm not happy. See? 
but when you speak from the very thought and idea, from the very passion of our Father, there, the, that word that you've spoken, you've given form to that very thought and idea, and those seeds go in and people poof, wake up. So contemplate, change the routine, get up early, meditate, read something inspiring, listen to something inspiring. And it's not just good enough to read it. It's not just good enough to say affirmations. We must think about it, contemplate, focus on it, see it, envision it, believe it in our heart, feel it, express it, outpress it, manifest it, be it. It's real simple. That's how the process works. But you ha we have to change a routine. I have to. I need to get up early when it's quiet. I need to stay up a little later when it's quiet. I need to turn within as I'm moving throughout the day and things get noisy. And reaffirm, think about, set my mind, stay my mind on him who is true. Love you all. Have a great day. I know that was long, but there's a lot there. Um, I've got a lot more on this process. I got a good teaching about how these ideas drop out. There's a lot in Jacob's ladder. Um, there's a lot what Jesus said, uh, Philip. You, soon, you know, you're going to see uh, angels descending and ascending upon the Son of Man. Angels, messengers, ideas, heavenly thoughts and ideas, the mind of God, consciousness. The kingdom of God is present. Go beyond your current consciousness and awareness. And believe the good news that the kingdom of God is present now. Now let's learn how God operates, how God was fruitful and multiplied. Because we're fruitful and multiplying the same way. Let's learn how the kingdom, the language of the kingdom, the code. Let's learn how the kingdom talks. Peace. Love you all.